Nice fucking building now, wouldn't you find? We got the old lions up on there. I'm giving you uh, people a treat today. Okay, any of you that watched The Last of Us will know that building right there. Because as of season, uh, episode one and two, that's where fucking uh, they're heading to. This building right here, they just put a yellow top on front of it and everything. But this is the whole area in or around that's in the film of The Last of Us. See? That's our Alberta Legislative Building. That's where all the government workers are. That's where the United Communist Party sit and uh, violate the poor non-white people's uh, rights and everything. As you understand that uh, through my age, um, they are demanding 30 days unredacted uh, bank statement from me, which I say is unconstitutional and goes against the Charter of Rights, uh, the Charter of Canadian Rights, which has, which almost matches along with the, the American um, Constitution. Both the Canadian and American Constitution almost mirror each other to certain points, along with the rights too. So under Section 8 of the Charter of Rights, the people are supposed to be protected under unlawful searches and seizures against the government. But yet it's the government that tells people that are on benefits and age that they have no rights and that they are forced to sign over their rights when they accept uh, welfare or they accept ACE.
So why is that? Why is the Alberta government allowed to violate everybody's? And this isn't just concerning me. This concerns everybody that accepts AISH, everybody that's on welfare. Why do they have to give up their rights? Human rights are supposed to be for the people, and yet the Alberta government are documented on violating everybody that's on age, that accepts age on welfare, their rights. They force them to violate their own rights and give up their rights. Now, my whole thing is, if they are forcing people like me, that's fucking on age, that's disabled, that's on welfare, that's fucking on any kind of payments, and they deny their rights, when are they gonna start working on the people's rights? It starts off with the poor, with the people on, on uh, income, on age, on welfare. They're taking our rights away. And now you can, like these freedom convoy assholes, they all say fucking, they're all bitch and complain about fucking, you know, their own shit. I'm saying that this Alberta government and every government in Canada violate every poor, low-income, welfare, disability rights by forcing them, giving them up 30-day unredacted bank statements. And they hide behind a policy. Policy does not supersede law. Policy does not supersede the Constitution of Canada, which guarantees every human, every person in Canada, the right, the right to privacy and the right against government interference, searches and seizures, which the Alberta government is guilty of by forcing everybody on disability, on welfare, to give them 30 days notice, 30 days bank statement. It also goes against the, uh, um, my last office I went to, the Alberta Privacy and Information. It also goes against their laws. But yet the Alberta government wants to spend all that time on making itself to be the victim or whatnot. On top of that, I want to go to OPEC because I, I, I'm also subpoenaing, subpoenaing, subpoena. I'm going to pull all the conversations that they had because I have a, a funny suspicion that um, these reviews that the H keeps hitting me up with also follow the exact time that I've been falsely accused by the Edmonton police. So I'm stating that the Edmonton police are all either phoning Ace and demanding these um, ridiculous 30-day notice statements against me. And it just happens every time. So I want to, that's why I asked for all, you seen on the other film, ask for all those people's um, names because I'm going to be pulling all their communications. Because either the Alberta justice system, which... Uh, violated my rights by charging me twice through Christian Lim of the prosecutor's office when he charged me twice with the same criminal offenses, either called Ace to have me investigated or the Edmonton police called Ace to have me investigated. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this rant. You got to see some uh, TV here. This is, like I said, in The Last of Us. Come on, we'll take you for a walk down the street. We got to go to human rights anyway, so we can do that. Let's take a walk together. We're going to go to human rights. Okay, so I'm going to put you in my pocket. And let's go. I hope you people are comfy and safe and warm because I ain't.
I have a funny suspicion that since Alberta government and the United Communist Party are so fucking blatantly lazy that this office won't be opened either. And it's funny because the United Communist Party and their leader, uh, Danielle Smith, is saying how all the people here that aren't vaccinated are victims. But yet, this is the same victimhood that they can't open their office, they can't go to work, they can sit at home, and collect a check, and force everybody else to fucking work. That's the United Communist Party. Do not vote for them. Okay. Look, you got a lot of fucking cables locking up that bike, petroleum plaza. If that right there doesn't tell you the fucking, just how fucking corrupt this fucking shithole city is. Petroleum plaza. This is, the, this is the United Communist fucking headquarters or something. It has to be. Petroleum Plaza, how ridiculous.